Okay, so it's actually been 10 months since I started spalting wood. And what's left in this container is the kiln dried wood, which I wasn't sure if it would spalt or not. And I'd have to refer back to the first video to remember what wood is what, because I think there's some oak. Hey, Ben. There's some oak and there's some maple in here. Hey, buddy. Okay, so I'm outside, so I'm not too concerned um, with safety. I know I should have respirator on, but you wouldn't hear me. As you can see, there's definitely some stuff still growing on this piece of wood, um, which is interesting. This was a kiln-dried piece of maple, so what I'm actually want to do is I want to scrape all of this stuff off and keep it in here, and then wipe this, clean it, so that I can cut the end grains to see what's happened on the inside, if, if anything. Um, it hasn't split, but I'm going to have to dry it slowly because it may split now that, uh, now that it's been wetted again, I guess. This, I think, is oak. Doesn't really look like too much has happened. Just blackened, maybe. It's hard to say. Same with this. It doesn't really look as though a whole lot's going on there. But it's possible if I cut into it, I might see something. This, I think, is oak. There's things growing on it. Again. Again, yeah. Fungus and mold and safety. Please don't lecture me. I'm doing this for outside. Now if you look at this, it looks like something's going on here. It's very possible. So again, I'm going to clean this all off, dry it, and then I'm going to cut into some of this stuff to, today in this video. This is a piece of oak. It's really hard to say, it looks like it's just stained with the moisture. Very cool to say. This has got a lot of white fungus on it. Piece of, I uh, can't remember. I think it's oak, but I could be wrong. I don't remember what it is. Again, I need to clean all this crap off. I need to clean all this off and, uh, and get some of this cut. So this is basically the wood that was left in the container from last year, from uh, 10 months ago. You see this fungus growing here still? It's a very hairy kind of a fungus, so it, it may have some spalting, but... Okay, so what we've got here is some oak and some red oak. I believe that's what they were. And these three here are maple. They were kiln dried maple. And I think we got some pretty major stuff happening right there. I mean, check this out. This is before I cut it. I think that this is promising and it is still very wet but it was this was kiln dried wood so I think we got something happening here for sure there's no splits in the wood at all so I think we might be on something with this wood here um, obviously I think that fresh wood would definitely be a lot quicker this was 10 months in total right Ben hey Ben yeah, 10 months of spalting. And welcome back to my shop, Rob from Woodsley Summercraft here. I know it's been a long time since I've done a video, and I apologize for that, but my life has been extremely busy for the last few months. Uh, many of you on Facebook maybe have been following my journey with my son, who recently received a life-saving double lung transplant. Um, 
I want to thank each and every one of you that have sent well wishes. Um, I really do appreciate that. It's been a tough go, but he's doing really well. And uh, I expect him to do better in the future. So um, I just want to get a quick video out today of a project that I started actually 10 months ago. I'll put a link to the first one here and the second one and the third one as well. There's three videos and this is the fourth one in the series and hopefully the last one. Well, it won't be the last one because there'll be projects coming from these pieces of wood too. But I did some spalting. I got some spores from Steve Crawford in Iver, Virginia. And 10 months later, we've got some results. Now this is a piece of kiln dried maple that I attempted to spalt and I didn't expect to get any results from it at all. And actually it's looking like there might be some. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be cutting into these with a the bandsaw, just taking a thin layer from the end grain. I'll probably do the side grain too, just to take a look. Um, and then we'll see what we've got here. And then I'm going to have to go through the process of drying this slowly hoping that it doesn't crack. I really don't want it to crack after all this time. I'm going to have to refer back to the videos that I did previously uh, in August of 2017 to remember what these pieces of wood are. Um, I think maybe that this is maple as well and I'm pretty convinced that this is spalted as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is spalted as well. Uh, and again, this was kiln dried wood that I had. Um, so you don't always get the best luck with kiln dried. You really want something that's still got the natural sugar still growing inside the tree for the fungus to actually uh, devour and create zone lines, which is what you're essentially looking for with spalted wood. But it looks like we might have some success here. And it's still hard. There's no punky it's still still rock hard which is a good sign so that I think those three pieces of maple now I've got some oak here and I really don't know if we've got some luck here or not I don't know we're gonna cut into it I really can't tell because it's kind of just dark black um, I don't know we'll see we're gonna cut the ends off of all of these pieces of wood and check them out so I got those pieces there I'm not gonna get them all out but you saw them outside in the in the preview to this video so that's these now back there I've got some hackberry which was in fact fresh cut when I started this project and it has been saran wrapped after I think it was three or four months it's been sat in there seven months saran wrapped things have still been growing and they've slowly been drying and I want to cut those as well today okay so first up is this piece of wood again I think it's maple we're going to cut a very fine slice off of this.
okay so looking at these i've cut just these ones here i didn't see any spalting at all in this oak this i think this is red oak and i didn't see anything at all in fact the moisture hasn't even penetrated the wood beyond about a quarter of an inch which is very surprising considering it's been in that tub of dampness for 10 months that's crazy this has got some spalt in um, definitely be interesting to see more of it once I get it cut into blanks of some sort and this one again too has got some spalt in hard to say how much this one I'm gonna wet this to see if it shows up better because um, it not quite as spectacular as maybe I thought it was but time will tell when I actually cut into this wood and make something this will be a bowl blank okay, so now I'm going to cut some of this uh, hackberry which was the only wood that was actually uh, fresh cut when I put it into that tub 10 months ago and it's been sat in the corner saran wrapped for the last seven months and some growth has continued on on the blanks uh, so I am now going to cut these open and see what we've got wish me luck okay so time for the truth here with the hackberry which is to be honest the wood that I I'm hoping for the most success with so I'm carefully unwrapping this and what I'm gonna now do is cut off the ends of these and see what we've got And that is pretty happy with this so far. This is the first one. We got some zone lines. We got the same thing on this side. I think that's, I think I'm pretty happy with this. I just gotta make sure now that I dry it without letting it split. So these are gonna have to get stored in bags now. Um, I'm gonna take the bark off of this and put this bark in the container for more wood to potentially spalt with the fungus that's growing on here. I see potentially two or three of the different funguses growing there. Um, and hopefully I can get that to grow on some different woods. Okay, so this is the kiln dried wood here that uh, you can see it's definitely got some spalting on it. That's the one. That's another one. Um, I don't remember off the top of my head what species of wood these are, but I will um, double check on the first video and make some notes on that on this video for you guys. Um, well, I'm going to have to dry these really slowly get them down to a workable moisture content and then uh, then I'll be able to make some things out of them from that so, initial purchase of the fungi spores I did get quite a lot of wood out of it that has got spalting um, this one here I think is actually pretty cool it's got some pretty cool stuff going on and once I cut into it I'm gonna make a circle out of it for a bowl blank 
and then uh, I'm going to dry this really slowly as well. So I'm quite excited about that. Now the oak back here, I believe that's all oak, didn't do a thing. It honestly didn't. Um, there is no spalting in that wood at all. And there's probably a really good reason for that. Uh, maybe one of you guys know why uh, dried oak doesn't spalt once you've uh, tried to reapply moisture and fungus to it. It didn't do a thing. So if I wet these woods as well, it really shows up the spalting quite nicely. Okay, so we're going to go to the hackberry now. These four pieces are hackberry. I'm thinking we've got two bowl blanks and a couple of spindle blanks here. Um, and these were, like I said, fresh cut when I initially put them in the spalting bin with the spores. And uh, there's, there's a good amount of uh, spalting on these blanks, so I'm really really quite pleased with see them. some of the zone lines throughout this so I'm quite looking forward to actually eventually cutting into these. So I'm actually looking forward to actually making something out of these eventually but I need to get the moisture content down I will tell you what the moisture content is right now hang on just as an example Yeah, it's just off the charts. It's very, very wet. So, that's pretty cool looking. And thanks for watching. This video concludes this four part series now of spalting uh, my own wood with, uh, with fungi spores. It was a long process and it'll be interesting to actually make something out of this wood once it fully dries. So uh, there'll be upcoming videos and I'll make a note the fact that uh, the wood that I'll be using is from this um, spalting experiment video series. So uh, again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I will see you soon for a project video. Take care now.